Hi there, I'm Myla Van Hees and this is Grow Your Movement Freedom. And as you can say, to see today we're down by the Yukon River to have some fun here. And it's continuing on the theme of learning something when you're a little bit scared. So I'm learning how to stand up paddleboard in a river. It's my second time out this spring here. I'm a little nervous about this. So one of the things that we do in the Tellington Touch work and in the Feldenkrais work to help make learning something that's scary easier, we call chunking it down. And what that means is breaking it down into bite-sized pieces so that it becomes manageable. Each piece is manageable and then gradually can build up to what you want. So that what you're doing stays fun rather than being overwhelmingly scary and you never want to do it again. So I'm here with my trusty husband Ross. Back on the bench there. Who will bill me out if I need help here. He's got the, the throw rope and he's in charge of filming today. And I'm going to be doing some stuff on the river, just um, moving in and out, like I talked about in the last video. Being able to move into something, making sure I feel like I can get back out of it again so that it feels safe that way. And gradually just putting some pieces together that are broken down into small enough pieces that they feel doable to me, rather than feeling overwhelming. And here's the key thing. I need to listen to my own sense of what feels safe, not my sense of, oh, get out there and stop being a wussy and go do it, right? I really need to pull this back and just do it at the level that feels safe and feels reasonable for me, which is hard. We're harder on ourselves than we are on anybody else, but, uh, usually. So we'll see how it goes today. See you in a bit. So here I am on the Yukon River, and it's important to know that this is the next step for me. I started by chunking this down a lot more last year, paddling on a lake for quite a while and paddling on another little section of river I felt comfortable with. So now I'm on a slightly bigger section of river. It's not a big jump up, but it's a bit of a jump, enough to get my blood running. So what I've been doing is going back and forth and into and out of this little bit of flatter current below the white stuff just to get the feel of that, get my balance, play with a bit, see what it feels like. So for me, this is chunking it down into something where it's manageable. And after doing that a few times, I decided to go across the current here over to the little uh, gravel bar that's on the other side there because the current is slower behind it. It's what's called an eddy so that I can hang out back there. So I can get there and from there I can cross back over the river to this side. Now I've done lots of white water paddling as well, so that's another way I've chunked this down. This isn't something I would suggest to anybody to just race out there and do that if you don't know white water paddling. But for me, this was the next step. And I could follow the flatter green water and get somewhere. And now I'm going to go play a little bit into and out of this little current right here, just so I can feel it. And I did this a bunch actually the day before I came down here. I just went in and out of this like 10 times. And now I'm going to go up on my knees. I decided to make it easier, go down onto my knees, chunking it down that way. And go check out that little white wave that was at the beginning there. Just to see what happens on my board. Because I wasn't sure what it would be like and I figured standing up would be too hard. So now I've chunked it down I'm into something that feels fun. I'm still having a good time. I can get the feel of it and I can gradually build up my experience and build up from there. So there you go. That was kind of fun today. I did some stuff that I haven't done before, like crossing over to the, uh, the shallow bar on the other side there. It was kind of scary for me before, so doing that felt great. But it felt like a reasonable step up from what I'd been doing before, which was basically moving out in the current and coming back, moving out, coming back. That's what I did most of the last day I was out here. So for me, chunking it down and being in a nice place like this was on the river, where there's lots of little things that I can try out that aren't too scary, will let me build up to being able to maybe stand up on that wave I was on my knees on. Um, and maybe being able to do some bigger stuff when I run into it. So it's getting me, giving me my river legs, getting me used to this and letting me feel little bits of success so that I can keep building. So anything that you see that you want to learn that's got some fear for you, see if you can back it up and chunk it down into smaller pieces that you feel you can successfully do and stay there. There's a little bit of excitement on the edge of, you know, pushing yourself a little tiny bit, but not so much that you freeze up or you get scared or you don't want to do it again. Okay, keep it fun, keep it interesting, keep it possible and successful for yourself. Good, have fun with this, try it out, try it with yourself, try it with someone else, try it with an animal, and uh, 
have fun exploring this. All the very best. See you next time. Bye for now.